All right, this is my 2022 Toyota Corolla. It's the SE Nightshade. So um, yeah, it's got all the black accents, as you can tell. The mirrors, door handles, wheels. Um, little things I put on myself. But yeah, I just uh, have had a lot of people ask me what are some of the different things that I've done with it. So I just wanted to make a video and just kind of talk about some of the accessories that I've added onto it and some of the, I guess you can say, mild modifications that I've done. So uh, let's start with the front of the car. Coming around to the front, you can kind of tell. I actually bought this car, I uh, got it in November. So what has it been, like five months? And uh, one of the first things I did was I put on this clear vinyl protection, also known as the, I think the clear bra. And uh, I did it when it was kind of chilly outside. So as you can tell, you probably should do it when it's a little bit warmer. But uh, I called up all the shops in town. They all wanted, uh, I think minimum basically was like $800. And I found a kit on eBay and I just pretty much did it myself. It was only like $200. So yeah, um, really only recommendation I would say and give is to do it. Um, if you were gonna do it, do it like when it's warmer out. I used a heat gun, but um, it's not too terrible. Definitely worth saving the money. But uh, yeah, it's not too hard. You can watch some videos on YouTube and kind of figure out how to do it. But uh, moving on. All right. One of the other things that I did too is I painted the brake calipers. As you can tell right there, they're blue, which is my favorite color. But uh, it's pretty easy after taking the wheels off. You don't actually have to take off the caliper. Pretty much you just need to mask off the the caliper. So that way you're not painting anything else. I just got, you know, a primer and the paint at Home Depot. I think there's enamel protection in it. And uh, yeah, I just did it myself. It's been about five months. It's really dusty because where I work, it's a dust bowl. But they look pretty... Uh, pretty good still I don't see any scratches they're just dust on it so um, yeah that's one little I guess modification that I've done and uh, this cover right here this is actually a vinyl sticker that I got from Amazon and uh, use a heat gun and it's basically going over the, the gas tank cover looks pretty cool and um, kind of matches the whole black thing that's going on another thing that I've done I replace the tail lights as you can see so the stock factory one doesn't come with a light here across the middle and uh, yeah these ones are a little bit different as you can tell if you are familiar with them and uh, yeah I'll show you when uh, I have some some other videos at night to kind of give you an idea of what it actually looks like and uh, yeah it looks pretty dope uh, I think they're about $300 on eBay um, there's videos on YouTube that you can watch to I'd install them. Not very hard, but uh, after digging in this car, one of the first things that I did to it to kind of uh, make it sound better was I replaced all the speakers. So went to the Crutchfield website, got the door speakers replaced. Um, it's nice order from them because they they do a good job sending all the wire harness stuff so you don't have to splice or do any of that action but um you can kind of see it in there sound sounds quite a bit better and i also changed the tweeters as well these are the tweeters that are up on the dash um this piece here is really easy to pull out i just drilled a hole there and put these alpine speakers that i got here i thought that'd be cool because you can like adjust them like that but honestly i can't even tell the difference when adjusting it i thought it it would make maybe the sound quite a bit different, but I think it just bounces off the windshield enough to where you can't even really tell the difference. But it looks kind of cool. Um, yeah, so that's another speaker that I replaced. Another thing I wanted to mention about the speakers is while I had my door panels off, which these are super easy to pull off. There's literally like three screws that hold them on there. So really there's no excuse when you pull them off and you want to upgrade your speakers is I put sound deadening in all of the doors everywhere I could. And um, I put them in the trunk as well. So yeah, I don't know if there's a huge difference as far as sound goes, but you can tell that it is a little bit quieter 
from the sound that comes through the door area, but you're still getting sound that comes from other parts of the, of the vehicle. I did find two pieces of sound deadening installed on the front doors, or maybe it was one on each side, one little square. So they tried to sound deadening it a little bit, but honestly, not too well. All right, this is a little accessory that I got on eBay, a little carbon fiber to go over the, uh, the existing area that's down here, along with these little rubber cup holders. They kind of match the same color as the car. Um, one thing I noticed is that this black scratches so easy and you get little swirls and it's just from wiping it. And so I thought it would be a great idea just to do something like that. Just, you know, cover it up. Less chances of being able to see all the, the swirls and the scratches that come on it. Okay, another thing that I did is, move this down so I can get to it so you can see it. I installed a USB right there. If you have this car, you'll know that this area is nothing but a black hole at night. You can't see nothing in there. And that really bugged me. So uh, I wanted to get a, a USB. This is actually a little LED light USB. And you, simple enough, plug it in. And you got light. I put tape up here so it doesn't come out this way, but it just lights the inside and it looks pretty good. And you can't even see that when you're actually sitting up. So it works pretty good. And speaking about lights, I also got these on eBay. Those are also blue LED lights that comes in this piece. Um, those, I think for the set of four, were like something around 30 something dollars. But um, pretty simple, comes with a wire harness that links into this. So they're pretty simple to put in. Um, so yeah, makes a nice little blue effect at night. Probably also wondering what this little thing is. So this is a car link. I got this online from China. Um, you can put in either a micro SD or a SIM card. Plugs into your USB that goes to the stereo. And it makes it so that you can have pretty much an Android tablet on your existing uh, I guess info dis display so yeah you can literally download anything that you can find on the Android App Store and put it on here so you got like Netflix uh, really the only thing I use it for YouTube you know kind of watch videos and stuff like that if I'm driving not like I pay too much attention to the visual part but it's nice to listen to it kind of like a podcast um, I have an extra sim card in there so I run it off of that um, also what makes this really cool is this basically becomes a wireless Apple CarPlay. So whenever I want to go back in, boom, I'm not plugged in at all. And uh, yeah, it's pretty neat. Pretty uh, pretty nifty in this little home button here. Get you right back out of it. And you can say you want to watch something on Netflix, pull something up there. Yeah, and it sounds pretty dang good with the sound system that I got in my car now. So I also have a subwoofer in the trunk. So uh, yeah, I'll put a link for that below. Uh, it takes about a minute to boot up and uh, it's pretty much disconnected to your phone with the, with the Bluetooth. So you really don't have to do anything after it's plugged in. So you just keep it, keep it down there. That's really all you gotta do. All right, coming up here, another thing I did, you might recognize that those lights are LED lights that are white. So the stock ones are yellow. I think they look a little outdated. So I uh, went ahead and replaced all those. You can get those on eBay. Pretty uh, easy accessory to put in, but they make a nice difference to the car. If you have any questions about some of the random things that I did on the car, um, feel free to, to go ahead and leave a comment and ask me if you have any, any questions you'd like to find out about and I'll do my best to answer them. Thanks for watching.